This is called That Kind of Cowboy. He's the kind of cowboy that rides a mule, not a horse. The kind of cowboy that doesn't bother with cattle, but instead herds people on mules twice a year up a trail near our house. Fifty to a hundred cowboys. My husband calls them cowboys. <laughs> Wearing wide brim hats and special scars tied in knots around their necks. They stop at a scenic overlook to take pictures, I imagine, while the mules groan and sigh, grateful for the chance to pause. It's all uphill for the mules, you know, all uphill. He is the kind of cowboy who wears a long handlebar mustache and leather chaps and fancy boots, while the rest of us living in the woods wear sweatshirts. <laughs> he's the kind of cowboy who doesn't care what you think, except he's hoping you'll notice the chaps and saddlebag and fancy boots. What is that, leather inlay? He doesn't have a phone, you have to call the neighbor. We don't want your mules crossing our property this year. Too damp, too much erosion, you have to talk nice to him. He wanders your woods with a gun. <laughs> hey, what are you doing up there? My husband yelled out one night last year after I had seen a light in the woods near our woodpile, a place that is always dark. Are you on a horse or something? My husband called up towards the light, which was nine feet off the ground. Mule. Whatever, my husband said. <laughs> what do you say to a man in the dark holding a gun less than 100 feet from your front door? He told the cowboy that he wasn't allowed to go hunting on our property. You can't fire shotguns this close to our house. The cowboy replied that he had always hunted coon in these woods. For decades he had hunted here, back when he was a boy. We made this trail, the cowboy replied. My dad has owned this land since 1970, my husband replied. It's been over 40 years. Clearly, he's the kind of cowboy with an imagination. We think he's just over 50 years old, but it's hard to tell when someone's wearing clothes from the 1800s. <laughs> In any case, he's remembering back quite a ways. We know that one day he'll wander our woods again, unable to resist carrying his shotgun, the next time without a light. The cowboy is not ready to give up land or the clothes he liked to wear when he was 10 and free and roaming these woods without a phone, able to wear a broad brimmed hat and carry a lariat and wear any kind of flashy boots he liked and boss people around. These were his woods. <laughs>